Hi Cancer and welcome to your general tarot reading for December 2017. This tarot reading is intended to look at all the energies in your life with the exception of love. We will not discuss or cover love energies in this reading at all. If you are interested in love reading, I have listed the links to the love readings I've done for December in the top comment below. I have also listed the tarot decks that I'm using in this reading and the meaning of their placement in this reading as well, if you are interested in that information. As always, Cancer, this is a general tarot reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. As many of you know, um, December is all about Mercury retrograde, so we all experience that energy a bit differently, but if anything's like too crazy in your life in December, just remember we are in retrograde. So let's get a card, if I can shuffle, a card for your overall energy for December 2017. Ooh, we have the fates. So, Cancer, this is basically saying whatever is playing out in December is like destiny, okay? This is exactly how everything is supposed to happen and be happening, despite what you might think or desire. Now, since this is general, this may go either way. This could be something that you really, truly wanted, or maybe things aren't unfolding as you expected them to unfold. And the universe is saying, listen, you need to trust everything that is happening right now because it's happening exactly how it's supposed to happen for your highest good, you know, wherever you are headed. So with that said, let's pull some tarot cards to um, get a little bit more information on what the fates are doing to you, Cancer. So um, the tarot readings so far have been generally quite positive. So I'm hoping that you guys are right on that uh, wave of energy. We have the King of Cups reversed, so water energy right here, definitely probably representing you. Some of you may not be very happy about um, how some things are unfolding, perhaps, but let's get more information, yeah. Or it's like you feel like nothing's happening, like whatever you're trying to achieve here, it's taking too long and you're feeling a bit emotional about it. Okay, so cancer what I see is there is something you are trying to achieve maybe it's in your career or maybe you're trying to start your own business or you know it doesn't even have to be that whatever it is in your life maybe you're trying to you know improve things in your family structure and environment but what I see here and this I see why the fate card came out first is whatever it is for you personally you've been patient you've been working at it whatever and it's like in December you're finally you're feeling really emotional like goodness is this ever gonna pan out is this ever gonna work out for me like why is this taking so long why am I going through this okay so many of you might be at that place where you're just kind of like uh, I'm ready to just give up I'm so tired of this and the universe is saying here listen no, you've got to trust where you're at and what you've been through, okay? This is exactly how it's supposed to be playing out, whether you want it to play out that way or you intend it to play out that way. The way it's unfolding is exactly 100% how it's supposed to be for your ultimate highest good, okay? So let's pull some energy at Oracle to get more information about what is this that you've been waiting on? You know, what's leading you to the end of your rope? Oh, okay, well, we have a, a jumper. <laughs> All 
Okay, here is our jumper. Door to Spirit. Cancer. Seriously, whatever it is like that you've been going through or you're trying to achieve, you need to trust that, you know, spirit, your guides, all of that, nothing has abandoned you or left you. Um, what's not working out right now is in your highest good, okay? You really need to trust that. It doesn't mean it's never going to happen. It just means it's not good for you right now. And I could tell you, there's things that I've wanted really bad. And I thought, oh, I'm so ready for this. I've put so much work and energy into this. I'm ready. And then, you know, maybe the universe was just sick of hearing my mouth and was like, okay, fine, here you go. And I'm like, whoa wow, yeah, this really overwhelms me. Oh, I'm not, how do I handle this? I, I oh, I, I guess I'm not ready. Yeah. And so after a few of those experiences, I really never get impatient anymore, okay? Because as many times as I've thought I was ready for what I really wanted, what I've been working towards, I had to learn the hard way. No, I wasn't quite ready yet, okay? So trust that the universe really has your back on whatever this is door to personal happiness and healing a man with heart <laughs> okay since this is not about love I feel like there is a very significant relationship with a friend, a mentor, a co-worker a family member, it could even be like an ex who is now your friend or an ex that you wish to just be friends with okay <clears throat> it doesn't have to have any romantic connotation to it at all whatsoever so December there is this opportunity for healing okay and this is something you've been waiting on this could be an apology that you've been waiting on and you're feeling emotional so for cancer what I feel this is about a significant relationship for you guys, your primary focus in December. And there's healing that's finally coming to this relationship, to this situation. And for many of you, this is family. This is all about family. Um, for some of you, this could be the, a strange relationship between you and your father because we have the king of cups and then the man holding heart. Well, to me, the man holding heart is the same um, card as the king of cups because it represents the same type of energy. Okay, so definitely some of you, this could be a father figure. <clears throat> now, for others of you, um, this could be where you know, somebody's trying to come in to mend things with you and you might not be so open to it, okay? You're feeling emotional about it. Um, December really looks like a month of healing emotionally for cancer, you know, like, because we have the door to personal healing and happiness. It's like you've been waiting for this for quite some time, okay? You're ready to just shed the past and to move forward and you're like, I want relief, please, spirit, I need relief. And spirit is right here through the fates and door to spirit because right next to that is door to personal happiness and healing. So if you need to accept an apology or you need to let something go that really harmed you, do it, Cancer, because that's going to bring you healing and happiness and whatever however anything's playing out this month spirit is right there with you so let's pull some advice cards you know pisces also had um a similar reading to this so i wonder if the water signs are experiencing um the retrograde a bit differently than the other signs are nature <clears throat> yep it this again is a reiteration of the fates and door to spirit card 
you know things truly do move in their own divine time wow trust is the next card and is that out of focus yeah there we go and you really need to trust the universe okay you need to trust everything that's happening and share your wisdom whatever you need to say cancer say it listen whatever's been holding you back it's time to let it go because it looks like you have some spiritual gifts here that you need to be sharing with other people. Some of you are very intuitive with the moon, the door to spirit, okay? And now share your wisdom. Um, so for some, perhaps you've been wanting so badly to put yourself out there uh, in some spiritual way. Maybe you want to do tarot cards. Maybe you're a medium. Maybe you do Reiki. Maybe you just get, um, you channel information, okay? It's different for all of you. But some of you, there is this focus of wanting to really um, have your career and life path in, you know, the metaphysical and you are like if that is what really calls to you I feel like yes that is your fate that is your destiny like spirit is with you spirit walks with you you have two doves here but it's all about divine timing and you need to trust that and you know the weight will be worth it all right the weight will truly be worth it and for some of you you might um if this is about a business you might partner up with a male figure to help you move forward in pursuing your dream, okay? Like a business partner, a mentor, a really close co-worker maybe. Um, or maybe if some of you have been having a lot of conflict with your boss, it looks like December that energy resolves somewhat, especially if you open yourself up to this person spiritually. So any strange relationships that you're having cancer go into spiritual mode go into your psychic mode because that is what will bridge the gap that is what's going to heal the energy so if somebody's coming at you all crazy and sideways you come at them spiritual you come at them with your psychic information okay and that's going to change things people are going to see you in a different light so please really just trust everything you've been through the way things are moving right now okay because all things happen in, in divine perfect divine timing and you have so much confirmation in this reading that the universe has you you know spirits walking with you you are not alone whatsoever and yes your spiritual gifts need to be shared with everybody some of you it's like you're holding yourself back this is your confirmation that you need to bring all of your gifts forward and share them and in time you know this definitely could be your career so the card that you guys got was I will tell my story as I want it to be this is final advice from the universe about your situation you know what Pisces got this as well so water signs are definitely in a similar boat in December if you let your dominant intention be to revise and, pr and improve the content of the story you tell every day of your life, it is our absolute promise to you that your life will become the ever-improving story. For by the powerful law of attraction, the essence of that which is like unto itself is drawn. It must be. So, Cancer, tell the story that you want your life to be. Don't talk about how long you've been waiting, what's gone wrong, who did you wrong, none of that. Let all of that go. It's irrelevant. You don't want that energy moving with you into 2018. Really trust the universe has your back and everything is going exactly as it is supposed to, okay? And allow that healing in as it presents itself to you. And those of you with these spiritual gifts, do not lose heart, do not lose hope, okay? all things happen in divine timing so cancer i am wishing you all a very fabulous um new year's and all the best for 2018 um you're not alone it's truly about divine timing for you guys so take care